Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. And today we're not really going to be doing a review, um, but we are going to take a look at my buddy's watch right here. This is a Citizen Eco Drive watch, and it is not doing so good. Um, look at the movement there, it's jumping. Uh, what that means is that, uh, well, I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, but first, let me just uh, t briefly talk to you about Citizen and. Uh, some other stuff. Um, Citizen is a company that started in Tokyo, Japan uh, in 1918. It was originally called the Shokosha Watch Research Institute. And uh, in 1924, they renamed it to Citizen after a pocket watch model that was called the Citizen. So it's been Citizen ever since. It's now one of the largest companies in the world. And Citizen has never been owned by anyone else. Um, it's always been Citizen. It's never been sold or anything. And in fact, they provide many of the world's watch manufacturers with movements and other parts. So they are they are a powerhouse, no doubt. Um, but uh, let's get back to this watch here. And um, this is a Citizen Eco Drive model number BM8180, as described by my Instagram account, which I posted the same watch under my Minute Watch Instagram account, which has 12 subscribers. I'm awesome, I'm awesome, I have 12 subscribers. But um, that'll, that'll rise. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on trucking along. But this is a solar powered watch, and as you can see, the movement is not doing so good. And usually in an eco drive, when, you, when the movement jumps like that, that indicates that uh, you need to adjust the date and day. And uh, that simply is not the case with this watch and there's a reason for that. Um, this watch has suffered something that a lot of Citizen Eco drives suffer and it's non-usage meaning it's been in a dark closet or drawer for a long time and it can no longer hold the charge. And why it can't hold the charge is because there's a small battery in here. Yes folks this is a battery powered watch. All solar watches are battery powered watches. Something's gotta have the energy stored, right? And uh, a lot of people don't understand that there's a battery in solar powered watches. Uh, even a, a, a kinetic watch is a battery powered quartz watch because uh, there's something has to hold the charge. And let's just, uh, I'll just show you here. I'll just use my special ball of lamb. Meh, <laughs> wee. My boss told me this trick: rubber ball the end uh, on the on the back side of a of a watch, and she opens up right away. Oops! Don't oh the Mitsubishi Zero got balled. Okay, now I just open up. Oh, I have pre uh, done this, so it's easy. But as you can see there, right there, there's a little battery that is a Sony MT621, and that's a thirty-dollar little battery. They call it a capacitor. But really, it's just a rechargeable battery. It's a pretty good one, though. But you need to use this watch every day. It has to have light every day, or at least. Um, uh, well, there is an interval. I'll get back to back to you on that. But there is an interval that it needs to absolutely have uh, light, or it'll just the battery become crappy and it won't hold a charge, and you'll never have a good watch. So I am going to be replacing that capacitor. And uh, by the way, this is my buddy's watch. Uh, who has a YouTube channel named Accidental Broadcast. He's pretty popular. He rides a motorcycle. He's kind of crazy. And uh, I'm going to be fixing this watch up. I'm going to change the strap into something a little bit nicer. And, and then uh, maybe give the, the case some love. And he doesn't really care about uh, it being a collector's item and everything. So I'm going to make it all nice for him. And I'm going to be a cool little project. What do you think? Uh, black? Black leather, maybe? We'll see. We'll see. Well, let's uh, let's adjourn for now, and I'm gonna come back and when I when I have all the parts and stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna take it from there. All right. 